Hey everyone, it's King CK here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my newest build. Um, recently, I've been actually this project is unbelievably delayed. Uh, I decided to build the Washington State Ferries. Um, I built the one of the biggest one and the newest one. Uh, so I'm going to quick explain to you how I built them. Uh, give you a quick tour of them. Uh, I'll start off with the newest one. I'm going to have to thank the Chris for this one. Uh, or the Chris 1995. Uh, have his link link he's linked as one of my channel or my friend channels uh all that fun stuff me and him have been build, doing a lot of building together um lately and so he helped build the bow on this ship and i swear to god i could have not built this ship if it weren't for him because he definitely uh definitely did the bow amazing and then so what he did is he helped build the uh pretty much the hull of the ship so like right here up and back um so all right i'll give you guys a quick tour on the ken and this one's the kennywick which is also uh there's also sister ships with the, I think it's S slash, I think it's something like that. And the Chen, it's C, I can never pronounce them because they're all uh, tribal names from old tribes that used to live in Washington State. Um, Alright, so pretty much on this ship, it has it's focused more on a one side system instead of uh, two sides where like kind of like the new super jumbo ferry, or not the newer, but the older jumbo ferries. Um, this car or this ferry can hold about 64 cars, uh, Minecraft style. The reason I didn't put cars in is here. I'll quick show you. Is one I kind of suck at cars. Uh, so if you guys are good at building cars, sure you should go ahead and throw a bunch of cars in here. Uh, and two, it's just because I the building limitations. I didn't really feel like building cars. So um, either way, you come up here. Not really much. Just use my basic default ferry interior. I mean, on these ships, there really isn't much either. Because I've been on side, inside of, actually I've ridden a ferry plenty of times, so these exact ferries too, so there's really not much. Um, you go up here, as it legs like crazy. Um, just not much on the ship, tables, uh, picnic tables and stuff. Oh, my server is lagging like crazy, I don't know why. Um, up here we just got some control panels, big old fancy control room. Uh, the ship, it's built to take over for the old... Uh, I think its nickname is Rodney, but I can't think of the full name of it. Once again, it's another big, long uh, Indian tribe name. And this one's one of the ships doing the replacing for it. So otherwise, you can go down here or go out one of these doors. Come stand out here on the balcony, right on the ship. All right, so now on to our next ship, which is the Tacoma, which I didn't put lifeboats on, which hopefully I'll try to put those on maybe in a little bit. Uh, I'll make sure I put lifeboats on for the... The schematic otherwise if I don't put lifeboats on it it's just because I got frustrated building them all right so we walk back and on this one we have elevators instead of staircases just because on the real ship and apparently I'm missing a block right there there we go so we go down and on this ship too it has the similar iron grating or gating and then all of a sudden up here you got this one also features the two deck floors too unlike on the Ken Kennewick where that one just has two floor or three spaces um, so here you got the two floors. I didn't really have much to work with because I don't really know the interior of the ship and everywhere I looked I could not find any information on the inside of like where the car hall is. Uh, all I could just see is a few pictures of like right up on the outside. kind of like where I did right up here where these ramps are. So that's all I could really make my way off of. Uh, it features four elevators or elevator sort of things. They are right on the sides of these cars. Uh, you pretty much just go up here. Once again, it has a similar interior as uh, the Kennewick, and we'll walk back here before we go upstairs. Right here, we have a, a little cafeteria, something I cannot build to save my life. So, I mean, I try to make just a little cafe, not much to it. Uh, now we're going to walk back and up these stairs, up to our proportionally unproportional sit or, uh, sitting area. Just is just like a uh, basic little deck. Walk back a little ways. Whee. Um, back here we got a sun tanning deck, which wrong side because they didn't put anything in there yet. So we'll fix that in the schematic. Um, all right, over here, this is their sun tanning decks or sun tanning areas where you just kind of sit in here and it has light, I guess. Uh, and then we'll show you quick the the bridge. This one's a little smaller because it's an older ferry. Um, they didn't put advanced control panels on it. Uh, Pretty sure if you look around, you can also see what it looks like. They're not very ultra fancy. And here I'll fix that door. Iron door. Slept. 
two. There we go. All right. I'll quick give you a quick view outside of it. Uh, this one, in order to build it, I pretty much took the same bow that uh, Chris made, and I pretty much lifted it up about four blocks, and then I cut, it, I spread them out a little bit, did a little resizing, and then I changed up the uh, windows and stuff. So if there's anything disproportional on the ship, if you find and notice, just try to ignore it. Uh, it's just because of the spacing wasn't very well counted. I probably should have done a better job of that, but I just decided to make it. Uh, outside of that, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, I want also go check out uh, the Chris 1995. I know me and him are going to be working on a uh, cruise ship coming up soon. Uh, I can't give you guys much info on that other than it's a real world cruise ship. Uh, one to one scale and we'll be doing that for a big server project which hopefully I'll announce to you guys maybe later on. Uh, outside of that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.